Today, I'm gonna to be creating the perfect five figure Iron Man collection. Let's roll. That's right guys, Ryan back with another video. Today, I'm gonna to be building the perfect Iron Man collection. And I'm actually gonna take a look at three different types of collectors that should be interesting. One of them is gonna be focused on the MCU. So we're gonna have a five figure set for the MCU. We're gonna have a five figure set for, we'll call it the don't give a shit what anybody thinks. And uh, I just like it, so I bought it collection. That might be a really long name for a collection. Well, that's gonna be the second one. And the third one's gonna be the heavy hitters. We're gonna talk about Iron Man figures with firepower. Hope you guys are looking forward to this. I am looking forward to sharing my thoughts on the perfect Iron Man collection. Let's get into this. The first collector we're gonna be looking for is, is the, the film buff, the MCU Iron Man. Now, granted, the MCU is, is, is where Iron Man kind of came into the fold for Hot Toys, you know? So you can say they're all MCU, but they're not. They're not all MCU, so they're not that, okay? So we're gonna take a look at the key moments in the MCU, the key suits of armor that Tony wore throughout the MCU. And I've picked five, I think they're very important. And if you're gonna build an MCU collection and you're only gonna have five Iron Man figures, these are the five I think you should get. Leading off the MCU list has got to be Iron Man Mark I 3.0, the diecast version that just came out a few months ago. I'm not sure you could, you, the MCU wouldn't exist without the suit. It would not, it, it actually, the MCU would not exist without the suit. It just wouldn't. It's iconic. It kind of harkens back to you know the comic origins of it in in one form or, uh, or another. And then obviously they've reissued this a couple of times. We had the uh, the 1.0, then we had the 2.0, which was also plastic, and the 3.0, which was diecast. Ridiculous deal, ridiculous deal on that one. I very much like. It's got the light up effects on it. It's got uh, a head sculpt, which granted is not all that updated, but the diecast parts are cool. And it's got that whirling motor thing in the back that's annoying as hell that I'll never use. But regardless of that, if you wanna to go to nostalgia and key suits in the MCU, you cannot skip the Mark I diecast. Now I'm gonna cheat a little bit for this second one because honestly, it's also in the same film. And the only other problem with this particular suit is it's not released yet. <laughs> it's not, it's still up for pre-order. It's, it's not even freaking produced yet. So here's your chance to get one of these and pre-order it if you haven't already and have it coming in to build your perfect set. And I'm talking about the Mark III diecast. Now they did, I guess they did make a Mark III years and years and years ago and they did a couple variants of it. But I'm talking about the newest one, the new Mark III diecast version. The one with the updated height, the one with the badassery. If you think back to Iron Man 1 and you think about that scene where Tony goes off on his first mission and he does that little iconic scene where he does the walk away with the tank and it goes kablooey and it's a whole thing. You, you can't, you again, MCU, you would not have all these awesome suits without the Mark I, but the Mark III is iconic as well. And if they ever actually reissue or reproduce a Mark II in the proper scale, that would be cool too. But I think the Mark III would also take uh, take the spot over the Mark II in this one. So, so far we've got Mark I, we've got the Mark III. Let's move on to the next Iron Man. Fast forward a couple films, we're gonna move all the way to the Mark VII. Guys, my, probably one of my favorite suits, honestly probably is my favorite suit, in all the MCU. You've got pod mode with this, if you really wanna go that route, which is kind of a weird way to display it, but a lot of you have done that. Um, but pod mode's cool, but the amount of accessories and the amount of switch outs on this particular suit, Unbelievable. You've got weapon switch outs, you've got battle damage switch outs, you've got, I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a walking armory of badassery. It just is. The Mark VII is awesome. It poses beautifully, it sits on the shelf and looks amazing. If you, and I'm just telling you, the Mark VII has got to be on there. It's one of my favorite suits of all time in the MCU. So that's Mark I, Mark III. Mark seven, it's a lot of digits, move on to the next one. Moving along through the MCU, you cannot have an iron, and we're talking about the ultimate, the perfect Iron Man collection. You cannot have a perfect Iron Man collection, MCU focused, and not have the hulkiest of Iron Man. Now I'm talking about the Hulkbuster. This thing is unbelievable. I did a full video on all these Iron Man figures we're gonna talk about today, except for that Mark III that's not out yet. But the Hulkbuster, iconic piece, such a, an engineering marvel in the six scale collecting world. 
it, shelf presence is unbelievable. Now, granted, it doesn't move a whole lot. It's not one for posing. It's not, you know, there's that. But if you want somebody to come into your collection room and say, you see the Mark I and you see the Mark III and you see the Mark VII and then you've got this badass Hulkbuster sitting there looking all kinds of awesome, I don't see how you miss out on that one. So the Hulkbuster has to be included on the MCU list. Now we got four out of the way, but we need five, right? And the, we've got to round it off. We started with the Mark I in the beginning MCU, and we're gonna go all the way to the end of the MCU. And we're talking about the Mark 85 battle damage. That's what we're talking about, guys. Iconic scene. I, do, do I really even have to explain why the Mark 85 battle damage should be on this list? Do, do I really need to do that? Well, I will anyways. Number one, the head sculpt is unbelievable. Number two, the battle damage. It's got the nano gauntlet. It's got everything. It's from the scene, the last scene of Tony in the MCU. Every one of you guys, I bet you, if you have that suit, or if you don't already have it, but if you do have it, you've got it in the snapping pose. You've got him eliminating Thanos and all his minion army. You've got him doing that, and it looks amazing on the shelf. You probably never even reposed it. I know I haven't. So the Mark 85 battle damage has got to make the list of five for the MCU. So let's recap that, guys. From the MCU, we got Mark 1 diecast. We got Mark 3, which is not out yet. You should definitely pre-order that one. Get the deluxe with the head helmet and the whole... Get, just get that one. Uh, we got Mark 7, which is unbelievable, right? We got Hulkbuster, and we got Mark 85 battle damage. Unbelievable list. Super excited for that. But we're not done. We're not done. I've got two more lists. Let's continue on. Next one we're going to talk about, the next collector, if you will, because not everybody collects the same. The next collector is the, I don't give a shit what anybody thinks. I think these are cool. I bought them. They're awesome. First up on that list has to be one of the most recent releases from Hot Toys. And it's got to be the blue Comic Origins Stealth Iron Man. Unbelievably beautiful. Shelf presence bar none, it is amazing. You've got comic-inspired uh, helmet pieces or face plates. You've got switch outs. If you like the chrome, you can go with the chrome. I didn't personally like the matte finish myself, so when the matte finish, it's beautiful. Shelf presence is crazy, and when somebody comes in your collection room, they're gonna be like, that's freaking cool because it stands out. It's awesome. In addition to the blue variant of an Iron Man, you've got the gold variant. We're talking about the Iron Man Mark 21, which is a repaint of the Mark 7, which is amazing. And we're talking about the Midas Iron Man. You cannot ignore this piece in person. It has like multiple colors of gold and rose gold and silvers and all kinds of crazy stuff going on here. Absolutely beautiful. The Mark 7 or the Mark 21 Midas, a suit that if you haven't seen it in person will absolutely blow you away. It is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You got the switch out parts with all the armory stuff like you would on the Mark 7. You don't get pod mode because you don't get that. And you don't get a head sculpt, but I don't use a head sculpt on any of these anyways. And um, I think the Mark uh, 21 Midas is absolutely worthy of being on the, I don't give a shit what you think. It's awesome. I bought it. Another Iron Man that's in the collection, which technically I get, I'm, I might be stretching a little bit. It's an Iron Man suit up. I'm talking about the Mark V suit up version of Iron Man, the Tony Stark on the racetrack at Monaco, got the blue suit. He's got the uh, the armor pieces that attach to the suit, which probably are destroying the suit, but regardless of that, it's awesome on the shelf. It looks cool. It's got a fantastic head sculpt. Fan I mean, fantastic. It's got the bloodied up sculpt. It's probably one of the better uh, RDJ head sculpts out there in the Iron Man land. This thing is absolutely beautiful. I would. Definitely put this on the list. If you're one of those people who just want something awesome, this is it. The next one may actually surprise you. I just think it's a cool piece to own and it's more of a diorama piece than an actual suit. It's, well, it's, it's a suit. It's like half a suit. I'm talking about the Mark III construction version suit. I just think it's cool. So like you've got a, um, uh, you got a stealth Iron Man, like from the comics origins, if you want to go with that. Then you got the Midas with his badassery. You've got the Mark V suit up, so he's almost quite Iron Man. And then you got the construction version. It's got light up functions that function on batteries, which actually is very nice. It's just a cool piece to have on the diorama set uh, with your Iron Man figures. I very much like that one, and it's inexpensive. And that's a, just a bonus. Rounding off the five Iron Man figures for the I don't give a shit, I just like it because it's badass list. It's a very long list to say a bunch of times, but we're talking about the Mark 46 concept armor. Now, the Mark 46 concept has a different repaint than the Mark 46, obviously. The 46 concept never made it onto screen, and it's from Iron Man, or I'm sorry, Captain America Civil War. 
which we definitely had a, re a different paint job for the iron uh, suit. It's the exact same armor. It's just painted differently and it's more comic inspired and I very much like it. It's one of my favorites in the entire collection, but the Mark 46 concept definitely deserves to be on this flipping list. So we've got two lists down. We've got one more to go. We're talking about the heavy hitters. Those who are packing a punch, they're packing the firepower, they're packing the weapons. It's gonna be an amazing list. Let's kick it off with Punisher War Machine. Yes, I am throwing a war machine on here because we're talking about heavy hitters. We're talking about firepower. We're talking about taking out minion armies. We're talking about taking out bad guys and just in general, if you're going to do Punisher War Machine. But this is an, just this figure, this Punisher War Machine, it's underappreciated. I don't want to tell you. If you've ever seen this figure in person, if you've ever held it, it is a tank of a figure. It is beautiful in person. It's got an amazing head sculpt to go along with if you want to do that. The light-up functions are great. It's got weapons. It's got weapon effects, which for whatever reason, they don't give us on other Iron Man pieces like this. It's just badass. 100% badass. If you don't have that and you have the opportunity to pick up the Punisher War Machine, do it. Now, I may be cheating by adding another war machine to this, but we're talking about heavy hitters, those that have the firepower to defend the planet. I gotta go with the war machine Mark I from Iron Man 2. Gotta go, gotta go with it. It's just, it's iconic. It is, again, just like the Punisher war machine, this one is a beast of a figure. It reissued earlier this year or maybe late last year, I can't remember when it was, um, but it is a beast. And you can still get it around retail. Maybe you might even be able to find one less than retail, I don't even know. The Punisher war machine, you can definitely find less than retail. The war machine Mark I, I don't know what else to tell you. It's awesome. It's got all the weapons you'd possibly want. It's got cool head sculpts, got a flip up, you know, uh, face plate and whatnot. It's a sweet piece, add it to your collection. Now, when talking about heavy hitters, you might not think of this one, but I think personally it deserves to be on the list. And I'm talking about the Iron Man Mark 85, the clean version, clean version. It's got the refocuser going on. It's got the nanotech going on. It's got all, I mean, it's just got all the stuff. It's great. It's it's a beautiful piece. Not only is, is it got a lot of firepower with the uh, nanotech uh, and the refocuser, but it also is it's a beautiful armor. This thing is sweet. It's get bulky, it's muscular, it takes up shelf presence. It is it's just a beautiful armor all around. So the Mark 85 clean version, I like better for this. I like this better than the battle damage version because you do have that refocuser that you don't get with the battle damage. And this suit is just, it's just massive. Now I'm gonna cheat a little bit on this list because we're talking about heavy hitters. So I'm gonna reintroduce into this list because you know this list isn't for everybody. This is the heavy hitters list. Right? I'm gonna reintroduce to this list the Hulkbuster. I don't even have to explain that one. The Hulkbuster deserves to be on the heavy hitters list for obvious reasons. I'm not even gonna say anything else. That's it. Last but not least, one more figure that's not technically released yet, although some of you probably have the original version of this. I'm talking about the Mark VI. All right, so they are reissuing the Mark VI. I will definitely be having that in the collection. I've never owned the Mark VI. I've seen it, I've never owned it. But heavy hitters, absolutely. Mark VI is amazing. And I can't wait to actually add that to my collection. But in the heavy hitters lineup, it deserves to be there. Well, along with our Hulkbuster, along with our Punisher War Machine, along with our War Machine Mark I, and along with our Mark 85 clean version. There we go, guys. We have three different collectors. We have total of 15 Iron Man figures in this collection. Which one is the list for you? Are you the MCU guy? Are you the I don't give a shit guy? Or are you the heavy hitter guy? And did I completely botch up this list? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below which collector you are and what would your list look like? Let me know. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so guys. I've got a pile more videos just like this. If you hit the like button and let me know in the comment section, if you like this style of video, I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to the channel. Check us out on Patreon if you haven't already done that. And if you want to check us out on Facebook, link for all that in the description below. As always, click what you like. See you next time.